Alright, this is a tutorial on how to get mods. For distance, distance specifically. <laughs> Let's get this going. So, the first thing you're going to need is the centrifuge mod loader. If you don't have that disk mod loader, then, well, you're gonna have to go get it. I'm gonna have links in the description on how to install centrifuge. Um, there's a text one, there's a video one. Go learn how to install Centrifuge, because I am not going to teach you in this video. This video is focused on how to get the mods themselves. Um, once you have Centrifuge installed, you'll know because of this right up here. Um, if you don't have this line when you open up the game, uh, well, you don't have Centrifuge installed. Go, go learn how to install it, and then come back to this video, please. Now. Where do you get the mods? Well, we have a GitHub page that, well, has all of the distance mods on it. Um, it's pretty cool, pretty cool page. I'm gonna have a link to it in the description as well. Now, there's a lot of mods on this page, uh, but we're gonna focus on one mod in particular for this tutorial. It's the mod that you're probably gonna be the first one you install uh, for distance, and that is the custom car mod. Everybody likes this mod. So, let's learn how to install it. So, once you click on mod.customcar, it's going to send you to this page. Um, now, don't, don't get too confused, you only got to focus on the releases tab over here. Uh, and make sure you click on the latest um, release, don't click on the, you know, any of the releases blue text over, over here, just click on the latest. Now, once you've clicked on that, that's going to take you over to this page, and this is where you can download the mod, the custom car mod specifically. Um, so, just click on this right here, and this will download the zip file uh, for the mod. Uh, also, go over and, you know, click on that uh, zip file, open it up, don't extract it yet, don't worry about it, just click it, and you should see uh, the centrifuge folder inside of the zip file. Now once you see that, we're going to have to open up the distance data folder for distance. You need to know where this is. If you don't know where this is, um, you should be able to find it. If, if you installed Centrifuge, you should know where the distance data folder is. Now, once you have the distance data folder open, all you're going to need to do is drag the Centrifuge folder from the zip file all, all the way into the distance data folder. And make sure you don't accidentally drag it into any other folder, just make sure it's inside of distance data. And once you do that, this is going to pop up. And all you got to do is replace all the files in the destination. The zip file is uh, structured in a way where it will put all the files in the right place in order for this mod to load. And once you have that all done, you have installed the mod. You have the mod now. So open up the game. Uh, this is the custom car mod specifically, so go to the garage as well. And you should be able to see this car in your garage, among other custom cars. The custom car mod comes pre-installed with a few cars. You can find even more cars on the GitHub website, but I'm not going to go into that. It's a pretty cool car, right? Alright, let's move on. So, there are a lot of mods on, the, uh, on that website. You got the custom death messages to change um, to change your death message online to anything you want. Um, there's the splash skip mod, which skips all the splash screens and you know just tries to get to the menu as soon as possible, so the game opens faster if you have this mod. Um, there's the camera dishes mod that adds a lot of different additions to the camera, like changing the FOV or zooming it out if you want to. Uh, there's the no server limits mod that, well, removes the limit to server, so you can have as many players as you want in your uh, server. There's the overheat meter, which allows you to have... Um, this mod pretty much puts a UI on your screen that displays your overheat meter, uh, which is pretty nice for cars that don't have an overheat meter, <laughs> uh, like the Interceptor, for example. The replay intensifies mod, which allows you to load as many replays as you want, uh, and you can even randomize what car the replays have. Uh, there's the online additions mod, which, well, adds a good amount of additions to online. You can even enable collisions on it, it's pretty crazy. Uh, with Editor and Annihilator, it adds a ton of things to the editor that allows you to do, well, a lot of things, like 
uh, remove the number limits. Um, you can you have access to like dev objects on there, uh, and a lot more. There's, there's a lot of stuff it does. There's also the level select editions mod, which allows you to change the not change. It doesn't change anything, but it just adds additions to the level select. Obviously, um, it, it does a lot of quality of life stuff. But one of my favorite things that this mod does that allows you to randomize your menu when you start the game, which is pretty cool. There's also, well, speaking of randomizing, the randomized car mod, which does exactly what it sounds like. It will randomize what car you're using, as well as randomize the colors if you want. Now, that's all well and good, but there's also a lot more mods than that on there. You'll just have to explore and find out about stuff on your own. But what if you install the mod and you don't want to use it? Well, don't worry about it. There is an easy way to just disable a mod instead of just deleting it entirely from your folder. All you gotta do is uh, navigate over to your mod that's inside of the distance data folder. Um, it's, it's inside the centrifuge folder. You can find it. Um, it's not that hard to find it. But once you find your mod folder, um, there's a JSON file that you're going to want to edit, and it's pretty simple to edit it. Just uh, right click this file and open it with Notepad. I like using Notepad, but you can use any text editor program you want. But Notepad is quick and easy. Just use Notepad. Now, once you've done that, uh, change the skip load to true. This will make it so, yes, <laughs> it disables the mod. And, you know, save it. Now, the mod is not going to load when you start the game. It's, it's that easy. It is that simple. Instead of, you know, deleting the mod entirely, you'll have the mod still. Okay, I'm rambling. That's it. You can now enjoy your mods.